Hello everybody, my name is Ray. Welcome to the Evangelical Dark Web. Today we're going to be discussing the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod and the bit of an ecclesiastical showdown going on within the LCMS over an excommunicated whistleblower that has now been accepted into another church within the denomination. So this is kind of interesting, and it is a case of one church stepping up, doing the right thing against another church in their denomination that took retaliatory and evil action against someone who is practicing discernment. So you kind of love to see this uh, happen. It's good news, and it follows up the bad news that I shared on a live stream a couple of weeks ago. So we're going to talk about the Ryan Turnipseed situation, but first I want to let you know, Evangelical Dark Web is a Christian news gathering and commentary ministry. You can support our work over a Patreon-like system at evangelicaldarkweb.org slash join. But the least you can do is like this video, subscribe to the podcast, to the channel, if you are new. So we cover all sorts of denominations here and the LCMS is no exception. We kind of cover them when no one else does. And a lot of times the articles we do get a lot of coverage as a result. So we wrote this article. It was one of the only articles on the subject of Ryan Turnipseed's excommunication. Uh, Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod excommunicates whistleblower who called out liberalism. So Ryan Turnipseed in January 2023 posted an entire lengthy thread on Twitter slash X, whatever you want to call it, about the Luther's larger catechism and the essays that were in the uh, addendum and all that, and how they featured a lot of wokeness. A lot of liberalism was in this. We've kind of covered this in the past, and he was attacked for this, especially by, you know, Lutherans like Chris Rosebro of Pirate Christian Radio. He attacked... Ryan Turnipseed for calling out liberalism in the Lutheran camp. And I guess that's not okay for established Lutheran pundits, you know, on YouTube. But here we are. Uh, Ryan Turnipseed, this little guy in the grand scheme of the online Christian world, uh, read the Luther's larger catechism that they wanted to publish, saw some issues, raised those issues for discussion, and then summarily was attacked this was then followed up months later with an announcement of a minor ban now a minor ban in my understanding of lcms uh polity is it bars you from the lord's table now a major ban is essentially excommunication and that is what happened on uh as was announced may 15 so that is the story and this church, it was a First Lutheran Church in Ponca City, Oklahoma, was the church that announced the major ban slash excommunication. Now, here is the update. And Ryan Turnipseed, in the meantime, has been doing some media interviews about his story. And uh, it's good that this story, this uh real sin and scandal inside the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod is getting a lot of attention because it raises questions about, you know, young people being involved in the church and what happens when they actually uh, want to help save the denomination that they're in. The LCMS, demographically speaking, is a very old denomination. It is one of the orthodox denominations that is struggling, demographically speaking. And here's this young guy who saw some issues and they went after him for that. So this Sunday, uh, May 26th, but I believe it was announced uh, Monday, Memorial Day, May 27th, Ryan Turnipseed announced that he's been accepted as a member inside another church in the LCMS. That's bold. That's huge. I don't think people realize how big this actually is. Because a major ban in LCMS polity is supposed to apply to all the churches within the Synod. All the churches within the Synod are supposed to follow up with this major ban, this excommunication. But this church said, no, your excommunication's invalid. We're taking this guy as a member anyway. And they've just completely invalidated uh, that, you know, the first... Lutheran Church, Ponca City, they've completely invalidated 
their major band by accepting Ryan Turnipseed. And you love to see that. It sucks being in this world and not having a church to go to. I don't have that issue, uh, you know, just so we're clear. But I understand the issue. I understand uh, not being able to be in a church because you're in an area that's full of very compromised churches. I understand that issue a lot. And I have people talk to me about that issue a lot. I understand um, you're in the church fight so much that you ultimately can't find a church home. I get that issue. So I'm glad Ryan Turnipseed's able to have a church and... I'm glad it's a church that's within his convictions and not, you know, him just slinking into some non-denominational mega church. And it's, a, you know, he's Lutheran and it seems like he's very passionate about being Lutheran. So I'm glad he's able to find a Lutheran church. And it's even funnier that it's within the LCMS and that this LCMS church is willing to take on the other LCMS churches and maybe also the entire synod on the account of Ryan Turnipseed. And that, that takes some balls, and I appreciate the pastor for being willing to do that. So, my name's Ray. That's the big news coming out of the LCMS. Have a blessed day, and we will catch you on the next one.